you might get a doubt sir 7 and 5 they both should be same you you might get a doubt 7 and 5 they both should be same but they are not same so we made it as same in this question what if already those values are given same in the question then it is even more easy right i don't even have to multiply with any other number for example see this question 66 liters of water was added that means there is a vessel i am adding 66 liters of water inside the vessel to 5 is to 1 milk to water solution so initial ratio is given as 5 is to 1 milk and water so the ratio of milk and water in the resultant solution is 5 is to 3 final ratio of milk and water it is nothing but 5 is to 3 what is the volume of the original solution initial volume is what they are asking in the question which i will call it as v this is exactly similar to my previous question there is no difference but in this question i am adding water inside the vessel if i add water inside the vessel milk parameter will not get affected water will get affected milk is not getting affected so what i can say is because milk is not affected how much ever milk is present initially same quantity of milk should also be present finally that means according to ratio initially milk is 5 liters according to ratio finally milk is also 5 liters they both are becoming same and that is what the concept also says that means in my previous question they both were not same i made it as same but in this question they both are same already so i don't need to make it same once again it is already same that means can i say that according to ratio initially it was 1 liter of water finally it is 3 liters of water 1 liter water became 3 liter water that means i added extra 2 liters of water according to ratio but according to question i am adding 66 liters of water extra 2 is becoming 60 66 multiply by 33 find the initial volume with the question according to the ratio initial volume is 5 plus 1 which is 6 liters according to ratio it is 6 liters according to question they are asking you how much 6 also multiply by 33 6 into 33 is 198 liters if you observe carefully i am not using any equation to solve this kind of questions which is my method to please see the next question please see this next question your question is two alloys containing copper and iron in the ratio 5 is to 8 and 5 is to 3 are melted in equal quantities very very important statement or word in this question is equal quantities they are melted in equal quantities that means there are two alloys alloy 1 and alloy 2 and they are saying that copper and iron they are in the ratio in alloy 1 as 5 is to 8 in alloy 2 it is 5 is to 3 and they are saying that they are melted in equal quantity what is the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy what is the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy now see here what is that they are saying in this question these two alloys of copper and iron of 5 is to 8 and 5 is to 3 they are melted in equal quantities it seems what is the meaning of equal quantities the meaning of equal quantities means in alloy 1 there is 5 units of copper there are 8 units of iron so totally alloy 1 has 5 units plus 8 units which is 13 units alloy 2 has 5 units of copper and 3 units of iron totally alloy 2 is having 5 plus 3 8 units question says alloy 1 and alloy 2 they should be melted in equal quantities but 13 and 8 are they in equal quantities no 13 and 8 are not equal equal quantity means it should be 1 is to 1 ratio finally after they are mixed or melted 13 and 8 they are not equal but question says they should be made equal so 
I want to make these two numbers 13 and 8 as equal numbers. That means I need to make them as same number means I should take LCM. LCM of 13 and 8 is 104. Multiply 13 with 8. Multiply 8 with 13. That means multiply 5 and 8 with 8. Multiply 5 and 3 with 13. So if I rephrase my diagram alloy 1 and alloy 2 copper and iron. 5 and 8 multiplied with new multiplying factor 8. 5 into 8 40, 8 into 8 64. 40 plus 64 is 104. 5 into 13 is 65. 3 into 13 is 39. 65 plus 39 is also 104. So if you observe carefully, 104 is to 104, it is nothing but equal quantity 1 is to 1. They are asking you the ratio of iron and copper in the resultant alloy. Copper is nothing but 40 plus 65 which is 105 iron is 64 plus 39 which is 103 iron is to copper is what they require answer is 103 is to 105 answer is 103 is to 105 i hope the idea is very very clear for you sir suppose for example if i reverse it what is this question telling you about in this question they are telling you about 13 is to 8 is the ratio but you should make the 13 is to ratio 8 ratio as equal ratio 1 is to 1. That means this question is telling you about the question they are not given in equal quantities. But you should make it equal. Please see the next question. It is the reverse. The second question, the next question says two solutions containing milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 4 that means there are two solution solution 1 and solution 2 two solutions has milk and water in the ratio 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 if you observe carefully right now 2 is to 3 means 2 units of milk and 3 units of water totally 5 liters in solution 1 totally 3 plus 2 5 liters in solution 2 now 5 is to 5 is nothing but equal quantity it is there in equal quantity in this question but they don't want you to keep in it keep it in equal quantity they want you to mix it in the ratio of 1 is to 4 i believe that you are able to understand the logic in the previous question the ratios were not equal but you should make it equal in this question the ratios are equal but you should make it unequal in what ratio they want you to do it sir in the ratio of 1 is to 4 multiply that first one by one second one by four that means solution one solution two if i rephrase the diagram 2 is to 3 multiplied with 1 is again 2 is to 3 3 is to 2 multiplied with 4 3 into 4 is 12, 2 into 4 is 8. So, if you check, 2 plus 3 is 5, 12 plus 8 is 20, 5 is to 20 is nothing but 1 is to 4, which they are asking you in the question. Find the final ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture. Milk finally is 2 plus 12, 14. Water finally is 3 plus 8, 11. Answer is 14 is to 11. 